Hello everyone! This is a one of six videos of this particular topic I will be talking about. I just want to keep the videos shorter, so about 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes. Um, but if you want, if you are interesting about the, the topics I will be talking about, just carry on playing the other, the other videos. So what it is about? I found this um, this website online on Google from one of the player who plays Desert Order, which is obviously one of the game of Studio Hope, and everything what he's talking about we can easily refer to Panzer Rush, which I think it will be a quite a good topic to talk about. So you can check his website. I mean, it's a very simple website, but you know it gives you it gives you the the what you really want. Um, you've got a home section, uh, which is this. Uh, then you've got a contact where you can actually um, uh, uh, send a message or question directly to those guys so they can help you with the desert order. Um, then you've got Studio Hope Ethics, and this is what I will be talking about. And then you've got uh, uh, resetting your account and pros and cons what's happened when you reset, how to do it, stuff like quite in depth. So I, I guess this is quite, this is quite good. What is interesting is that at the bottom here, they put 2020 desert order tips, and then it says not connected in any way with Studio Hope. Now, just by that statement, I'm pretty sure they are just very annoyed about Studio Hope, although, they are still happy to play the game. So they like the game, but they are not so pleased with Studio Hope. Okay, so without further ado, let's move to part one. So let's start from the top, Studio Hope Ethics Problems. After playing their games for over five years, I have come up with the following conclusions about the company that operates the game. These are my own opinions. Now, that's what he says. Is Studio Hope a legitimate ethical company? Short answer, no. I would not use a credit card with the company. Use PayPal instead so that you can dispute their charges if they close your account. They can, and I have seen it done. And let's pause in here. Now, whether to use a credit card or PayPal, I mean, it's really up to anyone, I guess. If you use the PayPal, you can, um, I mean, to be honest, I'm not using PayPal uh, myself as often, so I'm not probably an expert but I know that if you purchase something and and you as a buyer uh, you didn't receive it or basically you want to dispute it you can kind of freeze the phones um, I think that's how the PayPal works so I guess uh, yeah I, I guess I guess if you use the PayPal maybe it's safer but just going to the main point of that the question would be why Studio Hope would close someone's account? Okay, now I would imagine that from what I'm reading, the complaint here is that someone spent some money for the account and then Studio Hope just closed it down. So essentially, he lost this money. And we can agree, no matter how much money he spent, whether his account is a full account or whether he's done the reset, if he's done the reset, he can still a disc he can still have a discount on the account. So, yes, that would be unfair if the Studio Hope would close the account with no reason. But we have to ask the person who wrote this: Was there a reason, or they just closed the account? without the reason now if they close the account without the reason i would say it's a theft right i mean they can't pay the money for t 
titanium or, or, or gold. Um, he received the gold, but the studio hub closed his account. So that would be theft, right? So the question is whether that account has done something against the game rules. From the business point of view, that's another thing. From the business point of view, if the producer of the game looking at the person who keeps paying money, right? Why would they want to close the account? It wouldn't, it wouldn't really make sense. I mean, this guy is clearly making them money. So it would be kind of, you know, stupid to kick him out, especially if that person pays a substantial sum of money right you wouldn't want to throw him away so I'm not quite convinced uh, about that statement here I've been playing this game for two years and I used to play Alpha Wars and I never experienced anything weird I, I never experienced something that I paid them and and somehow they cheated me over the money so yeah, he says that he seen it done. Well, that that's, you know, but that's his word. So I I never seen anything like that and I never heard about it. So as for now, yes, you can use credit card, you can use PayPal and if you can feel that uh, it will be safer to use PayPal, yeah, by all means. But I don't think I don't think I mean from the logical and the business point of view I don't think the Studio Hope will be uh, kicking people out or closing their accounts uh, just for sake of it, uh, because it, it just doesn't make sense. Okay, um, so uh, the next thing, long answer. Ask yourself these questions, and this is quite interesting. This is where, you know, some points I can agree, but others, I, I, I don't think they're, they're really relevant. Let's start from number one. How can a web-based game company not have a legitimate website for their business? I don't know. But why would I really want to know? I mean, some people have a website, some people don't have a website. I mean, just remember, uh, and just remember, we, we, we are talking from the player's point of view. So as long as I can log into my game and pay the money and receive the gold and, and, and carry on you know, playing, that's all I care, at least. So whether they got a b website or not, I'm not sure. So, and this is his answer. Studio Hope doesn't have a real website saying who they are, where they are really located, who runs the company, etc. This is very shady as they are an internet company. As I said, I mean, who cares really? As long as you pay your bit and you receive the service which is your well your game and your gold i don't think why would you want to know y yes some people maybe they want to know they want to know their history or whether they're good or not but especially if someone plays the game for a long time and enjoying the game because i mean that person plays for five years so i guess you know it has been good enough for him to actually stick with that game for five years. I don't think that is relevant. I can agree that they should have a website uh, because they are a website, web-based company, so they probably should have a website, but the fact they don't, it will not make, or it doesn't really make a difference for me as a player. So that would be my answer to that.